it's been a while since we've filmed. Um, we have done quite a lot over the past few weeks, so I will show you what we have done and what we're doing today. So the first thing that we did was cutting these cork insulation plates to size and they were then glued to these parts of this wall and the entirety of the other wall and the insulation index of this product is similar to all other standard insulation but it's much more sustainable so that's why we chose to use this. As you can see, this is quite a difficult wall to insulate using plates, um, so since we can't install solid plates um, all the way up here, we decided to use cork snippets. So this entire thing is filled with cork snippets and then we use Reflectix just as a barrier, we could have used anything, it's just, it's not for insulation, it's just to, um, yeah, fix this as a uh, solid piece. One thing we do still have to do is fill up these gaps because we didn't cut this at a slanted angle because that's way too difficult um, because this all crumbles as you cut it so we decided to do a straight edge and fill this up with different material but we're not sure how we will do that yet. We also worked on a structure for the ceiling so we have beams all the way along to the front these will then be covered in thin hardwood sheets. Um, one sheet will run to here, the next up to here, and two more to the front. And we will be using the same cork plates on the walls as well as on the ceiling. We also worked on the front of the van. We treated the rust, we painted the entire floor white, we then covered it in a thin layer of in industrial cork which is um, quite flexible so it's easier to work with on a flooring uh, that has to have a thin layer of insulation and we then covered it in fabric, uh, car fabric and reinstalled the bench. So the bench is back in place and we also have rubber mats in the front. All we have to do is connect the car batteries and then we can install the driver's seat. So today we are working on this right wall. Um, we are installing the structure of the panelling and um, we are using these beams which are 12 millimeters thick which is half of an inch um, and they are connected at the top there and all the way down there. Now since the wall isn't straight every two inches we made a small cut I think a third of the depth and this way um, it's easier to bend but it didn't uh, we didn't have to use a thinner material so we still have quite a strong structure so Yori is now working on the second one Okay, it's time for lunch break now, but we have um, done some of the paneling. The first three boards are done. We will take them inside and then um, cover them in oil, but for now we will cut every single one to the ceiling and uh, take them inside. But first it's time for lunch. So for today we are done with the panelling, uh, we won't be doing more because it's quite unstable to keep building up um, and that means that we can't get that edge straight. Um, so this will be going inside, we'll be treating it with a boiled linseed oil and then we will be continuing in a couple of days with this um, step, but I think it's looking quite nicely. It's now the next day. Yesterday we mainly worked on the panelling as you guys saw and afterwards Jordi also worked on the wiring so um, he ran some cables down the van and I will show you that now. So since the batteries will be installed down here all the cables are wired to that point. Um, some of them are wired all the way along to the front of the van. Um, the cables here on the left are used for the fan that cable over there is used for 
some LED lights as well as one cable over here. Down there we have the wiring for the fridge and Yori is now working on the cable for the solar panels. So this is what the van looks like right now. So this is our dining table and that's all the paneling that we measured and cut yesterday. So we uh, varnished it with one layer of foiled linseed oil. There were three different types of oils that we um, considered and we settled on uh, boiled linseed oil. We'll write a blog post on the paneling eventually and explain our reasoning behind choosing for this oil. Um, but this was uh, the type that's most suitable to us. Um, it's not 100% natural and it has some added chemicals but it is the only option at the moment because um, time-wise it wouldn't work to use a different oil um, but we'll explain that later. We want to thank you guys so much for watching and following us and if you like the video then please subscribe and um, check out our website or follow us on Instagram and we'll be posting many updates in the future. Thank you!